Hey guys, Blue Yoshi here, and today I have another episode of Pokemon Fire and Leaf Green version for you guys to watch. Uh, this is episode 5. Last time uh, we got our Charmander Fire Blow to evolve into a Charmeleon. So, yeah, so corn team we have Fire Blow. Um, I like looking at the moves. Diddy Kong, he really helped us beat the gym leader back in episode 3. Uh, but he's learned some new moves. And Pikachu, who might not be like on our final team, but I just we need him for all electrical for now. So yeah, let's do this. So last time we left off on Charmeleon evolving, and we were just past the uh, one goal. So wait, did I go against these guys? I think I beat all of these guys. I'm not sure. So let's see. Yep, I beat him. Beetle. Okay. Notice me. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Oh gosh, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, we have another Mankey. Okay, Pikachu, let's do this. Shock him. Yeah, so, um, I just uploaded, uh, Pikachu Montage for Smash Bros. So if you guys all, uh, like Smash Bros, uh, you should definitely watch that. It's hilarious. Um, <laughs> along with the Mario one, if, if you like that. But, uh, yeah. So, for Pokemon Fire Red last time, we went and we, like, evolved Tomelian. I'm still kind of phased by, like... By all, by Diddy Kong just totally beating that Onyx up. <laughs> I figured out after that, or afterwards, that uh, the move does more damage depending on uh, how heavy the other guy is, and Onyx is like super duper heavy. So I guess that makes sense. But oh my gosh, that that was that was crazy. So yeah, last time we left off at you. So let's see. Fight this guy, right? Yep. I wanna see if I can go against this one, dude. Nope. That's real. Well. I don't want. I wanna go against you, but it'll be good training because you're weak to my thunder shocks. Die. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm gonna get any new Pokemon this episode. Um. If I, like, I'm gonna end at the end of Mount Moon, okay? So, it doesn't matter if we went there or not yet. Because I'm just gonna be doing Mount Moon uh, today, and then, uh, in the comments, you guys can, like, suggest a new one that I should be doing. Um, so maybe I'll take that advice before I go to Cerulean City, which is next, by the way. Uh, but yeah. Now, Mount Moon is known for Zubats coming in like every two seconds. Like this. Oh gosh, no, it's a Geodude. Well, the thing about Geodude is that, like, he can't get hit by electric, so it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna beat him up with Diddy Kong. Because Diddy Kong can just, like, kill all lock types. Especially with this new karate chop, it's very useful. Oh, bam. How did that not one hit KO? Okay. Die. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Diddy Kong is gonna be a permanent member on our team just because <laughs> of his sweep against a uh, block. That's not exactly a. Sweet, but, um, whatever. Uh, he did really good. So, yeah. He's gonna be our best friend. So, yeah. 
Now, if you're wondering, uh, on my favorite Pokemon, I might... See, I'm thinking about doing some top 10s in the future. Like, I'm not gonna be one of those channels that, like, only do top 10s and, like, makes the most random things ever. And I'm not gonna, like, not do what I am doing with my Let's Plays. Just thinking that would be interesting from time to time to do, like, a top 10 uh, Pokemon or top 10 Smash Bros. characters or something like that. So, if you guys want that, uh, then you guys can comment in this video, or it will also be in Yoshi Forms on the, uh, my YouTube channel. So, oh uh, yeah, it's right there. So, let's see. Now we're gonna have to take out one of like Growl and Tail but pretty soon because they are absolute trash. <laughs> Especially when we have Thunder Wave, which is like more useful. Now here's my question. Thunder uh that this is generation three, so I'm pretty sure electric types are special. So this Holden isn't doing anything to our Thunder Shock. Yeah. So yeah, and I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Electric is special. In fact, I'm absolutely sure. Uh, but yeah, Pikachu is level 11. Ooh, Quick Attack, this is good. Um, it's also not only good at... It's also really good in Smash Bros. <laughs> if you watch the Pikachu guide, you'd know why, but uh, yeah, Quick Attack. Really good move. But, uh, Kent, we just got 132. Um, now when we went down there, there was a TM. And it contained Bullet Seed. Um, so if you got, so if we get a Grass type, which we will, still trying to decide, oh gosh, what am I doing? Uh, then I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do for that. But Bullet Seed is like one of the strongest class type moves. It doesn't take recoil. So, yeah. Definitely a really good move. Um, speaking of uh, moves and stuff, should probably do the bios for the Pokemon in here tw too. Even though, well actually, yeah that's right, I have not done the um, one for Gia, dude. So yeah, I guess I'll do that right now. So here are the bios for uh, Mount Moon. Okay. So let's see, what does the sound say here? Beware, Zubaz blood circle. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. So why are you battling me? That's my question. How come, like, every time uh, you're going against someone, they're like, let's battle? Oh, yeah, that's a Clefairy. That's one of the Willy Whale Pokemon that you can get you. Um, it's pretty good, especially now with its new Fairy typing, but it's only normal type. So, uh, it's okay. It's not bad. But it's it's okay. Cause fighting is super effective against this guy. When in Gen 6, uh it's a bad idea. Dude, it says double slap. Why did it do four times my gosh, five times? Oh gosh. Diddy Kong. You got nerfed. You got nerfed, guys. You got nerfed. <laughs> My gosh. Okay, I was holding in that like, I was holding in that laugh for quite a while. <laughs> no, no. You've got to be kidding me. You landed a sing. How did you do that? No. No TGTV. Let's see. My gosh. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna like stay here and growl. Yeah, 
Yeah, at least I'm not encored. Oh yeah, he's still paralyzed. Okay, Metal Claw. Let's hope this works. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! This Sorry about that. <laughs> but this Clefairy hates me. Oh my gosh. Um... Come on, you can do it! No! Fire Blow! Be a man! What was that? <laughs> oh wow! I wish I had face cam right now. That would have been that would have been great. <laughs> oh, la, 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 metal claw! Do it! Just do it! Thank you! Kill this Clefairy! No! No! I said kill it! Kill it with fire! Please! Kill it with file! Come on! Yes! Kill it with file! Yes! Thank you! I killed it with file! My gosh! What was that? What was that? I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon at that center or that. But how did I just lose to a Clefairy? It was level 14 too. My gosh. That was evil. <laughs> that was actually really funny, though. Um. So, yeah. Um. Now, in the cave, there is one Pokemon we'll be able to get. But, uh, we won't be able to get it till, like... Like, we're gonna get an egg. Or a fossil, I mean. And we won't be able to hatch this fossil until, like, way later in the game. So, uh, yeah. So technically we're gonna get a Pokemon, but technically we're not, so it's confusing. My gosh, Zubat. <laughs> Always a flying type, so Pikachu should be able to handle it, but... Do it! Thank you. But yeah, Pikachu is very useful with his Thunder... Shocks. You know what I just realized? Thunder Jolt on Smash Bros. is Pikachu's like Nutri Special. And yet, it's not an actual move. Meanwhile, all of his other moves, besides like Meteor Quick Attack and Quick Feet, all um all actual moves. Um so the call is like normal ones. So that's kinda weird. How they did that? Because, like, Thundershock, that's one of his uh, customs for his Nutri Special, and yet it's so bad. <laughs> if you watch that video, you know, like, how bad it is. But, yeah, really bad. Um, and Thunder Wave is the best one, which I find pretty funny. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see, what else? No! Don't! Don't! Oh my gosh. Please, just kill it. Thank you. If you can't tell, I don't really like Zubats at all. <laughs> I use. Um, I use. I. A Zubat is like weird. Because. <laughs> I don't know, I should like it, but I shouldn't. So it's like, weird. Because at uh, Zubat, uh, if you guys play competitive uh, Pokemon X and Y, um, you know you'd have to, um, you'd have to uh, EV train. One, and one way to do that is to go around and uh, fight hordes. And, um, Zubats give you speed, I believe, and there's a lot of Pokemon that I need speed for, so I con constantly go against Zubats, Zubat holds, so, um, yeah, I have two shiny Zubats, 
which is awesome. Um, but yeah, none of them have evolved into Crobats yet. Just haven't found the time. <laughs> but oh my gosh, Let's see, this is Electric Steel. So file mostly. Both of these will work, but I want Diddy Kong to level up. So come on, Diddy Kong. No, don't, don't, don't thunder him. Um, fly chop. Karate chop. Wow, this guy is like zero defense. My gosh. <laughs> Voltorb. Well, that's just electric. I don't have any ground. So, I might as well keep Diddy Kong in. Let's see. He's not heavy at all, so Karate Chap's gonna be our best bet. That did nothing. <laughs> that Jacko did nothing. No! Okay. It's defense, so it won't matter. I thought that lowered attack. But yeah, so if you're wondering, yes, I do play competitive uh, Pokemon, but just not at the extent as I do of uh, Super Smash Bros. See, the problem with competitive Pokemon that I ever had, have, is that it takes a lot of time. Because um, unlike Smash Bros, you can't just pick up the game and you have like everything besides the DLC. I mean, Pokemon, you have to get the perfect IVs, you gotta get some good EVs, and then you gotta get the right combination, then you gotta think up team strategy, and the, it's, there's a lot to do it, and it's very rarely that I get that time, um, so it's very well that I get that time. So, yeah, speaking of oil, I just got a oil candy. If you don't know what that does, it levels up one of my Pokemon. So, I'm gonna keep that till like the end of the game when we're at like the Elite Four, but still. Now, this is a uh, Pairs. I already went over it. But, uh, Bug Glass. Uh, pretty bad. <laughs> uh, because it. It's four times weak to flying. File. And I think that's it. But it is it is sad. The uh, one the one upside to it is that it when it evolves it gets spore. So one of the few Pokemon that gets spore. Um so if you need a spore user, I would not recommend pills, but it's it's one of the few. So uh yeah. But Willy really just don't use Pairs. He's bad. Um, but yeah, back to uh, competitive Pokemon. Um, I pl oh my gosh, not the Pairs. <laughs> um, uh, as you, I'm pretty sure I already mentioned this, but um, Squirtle is my fa favorite Pokemon. Uh, well, actually, it's my second favorite Pokemon. Um, favorite startle, uh, battle yet. But, uh, but, um, the reason I chose Charme Charmander, um, is that you just find so many water types in this game, it's absolutely weird. <laughs> um, so honestly, I didn't feel the need to get a water type startle. Because there was like only a few good fire type Pokemon that are not Stardust in Pokemon Fire Red. And most of them you get like new, like at the end of the game. So it makes uh, the majority part of the game like pretty hard. Um, so yeah, that's why I chose Charmander. But if you're wondering about my favorite Pokemon, um, I'm probably going to make a top 10 on that. So watch out for that. But 
yeah. You guys can like tell me if you want me to do it or like that stuff <laughs> at Yoshi Films, so definitely do it. It's really nice. But yeah. Who can do the best action voice? Axu! 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 Win one. Axu.